guys it's Renee welcome to this month's phone case DIY for this one the first thing that we need is a phone case the one that I'm using is acrylic pretty flexible I'm going to be painting this in white with my wet acrylic paint and a brush now you can uh, start with a um, white phone case I just use white to make the colors that I'm going to be adding on top pop a lot more but I'm going to cover the whole thing front sides everything then I'm going to be taking this Martha Stewart's color and it's called mermaid tail and it's a beautiful turquoise color I love it but to apply it I'm just going to be using one of these sponges I'm pretty much going to be adding the color on my phone case until I'm done I actually got this idea because it was actually a request on Facebook. My lovely viewer sent me the image of a photo that they asked me to recreate a couple of months ago. I got inspired from that to make this one and this is what this is. Okay, in some parts I would just go ahead and do this movement because I felt like it covered everything faster but then I would just go on top and just apply like do the regular spongy movement. Then because I thought it was just a bit too dark for what I wanted to go for, I went with my white acrylic paint the one that I used on the beginning try to make the whole thing a bit lighter until I was done with that one and then after what I did was mixing my white and my turquoise color and I'm just going to go with my sponge and just try to mix everything in between the finish that I want or what I'm going for here is like a vintagey kind of touch to it I'm not trying to uh, make everything like even I'm just trying to make this uh, not even just like antique looking in my opinion but then I'm going to be taking a brush as you can see it's well used and loved I use this all the time and that's why it has like stains of paint everywhere but I'm going to be taking my pink color and I'm just going to go and add my roses um, they are not dots it's like this shape like adding a bunch of dots like in the same spot to make the, the background of a rose Do you remember each one of these ones will represent a rose so just add as many as you want once I've done that, I'm just going to be adding some leaves with my uh, green acrylic paint. I'm just going to be taking a barbecue stick because I was running out of toothpicks, but you can use a toothpick as well for this. And I'm just going to add the leaves. For that, I'm just going to be doing that, like adding one like kind of like dot of green paint and then just dragging it towards like the opposite side of flowers and yeah i'm just going to be adding a bunch of them in some of them i'm just going to be adding two and in some of them i'm just going to go and add three if you made any mistake or if you didn't like the way your leaves turned out you can take a q-tip just before your paint dries and just remove that it's going to come right off the paint or like once you apply it you didn't like it and just remove it straight away then I'm going to add some, I don't know, tashes, like antique tashes, I guess, with my gold acrylic paint and the back of my brush again. And I'm just going to add some like dots here and there. This is going to add something to it because it's gold and it looks cute. Once my roses, like the uh, pink parts and the green parts are super dry, I'm just going to be taking a Sharpie, this kind of Sharpies, like two side Sharpies. And I'm just going to be, you know, using the finest tip and I'm just going to be adding details of the roses. And don't worry if you're shaking because it tends to look even better when you're shaky. Kind of like add a bunch of C's all over the place. I'm just going to add details to the leaves as well and then i'm going to be adding these details on like the phone the phone case that they showed me had like this details all over the place but you can leave those parts you know out if you don't want them I like them both with or without them and then as a final step I said that I like to do because I feel like it kind of like protects the sign it adds a beautiful shine and it makes the sign last longer just going to add this sealer gloss in spray form that I got at Home Depot a lot of people ask me if this is necessary and it's pretty much optional but I like to do it because I feel like it protects the sign a lot more it adds a professional look to the phone case and it makes all the colors like pop a lot more but if you want to work with top coat for nails just go ahead and do that just keep in mind it's going to be smelly and it's going to take longer to dry again this is just a recreation of a photo that a lovely viewer sent me if you have any ideas that you would like me to recreate or just try my best to just go ahead and send them to me over instagram twitter or facebook everything is going to be linked down below as well as all the materials that i use for this so thank you so much for watching if you like this don't forget to give me a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff and don't forget to share it thank you so much for your time i'll talk to you on saturday and take care bye guys